Hello everybody, uh, my name's Aaron. I'm Ron. I'm Nick. And uh, welcome to our last video. We thought we'd try something a little bit different. This time it's more of an interview style thing. Um, the whole reason we've got uh, my good friends Ron and, and Nick on here is that uh, last weekend, I think it was, was uh, Tasmanian Tasman on-road titles. Correct. That's, that's right. Tasmanian state on-road titles. Yeah. and. Um, the, these guys, I don't know if it was intentional or if it was a happy accident or if it was planned all along or if you secretly Red Bull, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but these guys pulled off a 1-2 finish in the TCR class. So we thought, hey, these guys must know something. Uh, <laughs> they must know what's up. I'm going to bring them on here and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, TCR racing class and the, the cars itself, I'm sure you guys are great. But the cars <laughs> are the, <laughs> the things I'm really interested in. So... Let's uh, cut to some graphics and talk about some cars. So, um, what are what is a TCR car as opposed to any other RC car? What these, are they? These are uh, 110 scale electric on-road cars. These are X-ray cars, so basically they have motor basically in the middle and you have a, basically a pulley to the front and it drives the Oh yeah, wheels. yeah, drive belt, and, sweet. And then you have, the, of course, the rear wheels just get pulled along with the rest of the car. Nice. Yeah, they're the uh, X-ray X4F, um, a, a kit that we, that we sell here um, and they're a very, very uh, well-built uh, car and you, you know why they're um, the top of the line in, in their Yeah, because these, these are like high-end, full competition race cars, correct, right? Yeah, that's correct. Lots of carbon fibre, and we all love carbon fibre. Carbon fibre. <laughs> <laughs> but they are, they're uh, the, the TCR, uh, the, the TCR stands for Touring Car Racing, um, front-wheel drive. Yep, because um, it's the real-world TCR which is class what? where they run like hot, uh, civic, hot civic type R's and golf R's and yeah, stuff like that, yes, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, the scaled down one tenth version of that. Um, nice. And uh, and yeah. front wheel drive um, front. instead of because touring car RC touring cars at least are usually uh, four, -wheel four wheel drive or all wheel drive. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So there's the with the, the four wheel drive car, the the motor's in the middle um, or pretty much in the middle, and then there's two belts driving the front and the rear simultaneously. Yep. Whereas this, the motor is mid mounted and with one belt driving the front wheels over. Yeah, I mean, belt drive is something that I think it's probably pretty common to you, to you guys, but in the off-road and like bashes and like um, just rear wheel drive buggy RC world or crawlers or whatever, not a lot of belt drive there, it's always shaft drive. So yeah. I th the biggest thing that I notice is the sound these things make. Yeah. Or, or lack of sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> very they, they kind of make a whistly like <laughs> It's yeah. uh, pretty impressive, um, yeah. and, and, and the other the other version of these is uh, the motor is actually mounted right over the bumper bar, um, and it's a, a direct spur to pinion uh, integration. Whereas this yeah. is actually more recessed back, and that provides a bit more. Um, depending on the track, it, it might provide a bit more balance to the to the car. Cool. So, are they fast? <laughs> is yours faster than the next? <laughs> Yeah, considering the um, the, the motor class 13.5, yeah, you're probably looking at 70, 80 k's down the, the main straight. So yeah, they are very fast. So if you scale, if you scale that up, that's 800 yeah. clicks an hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Scale speed always checks out, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I've got a three 300 kilometer an hour Hornet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nah, that's they they sound really quick, and they they also there's not there is a lot of acceleration because they accelerate so quickly yeah. but there's also not a lot of time spent accelerating they seem to really launch and yeah. just hit 80. yeah it's not like they're not like winding out no to no. 80 that's just sort of yeah. like floor it and boom yeah. <laughs> yes. there is that as well um the thing that we have to be mindful of is we don't because they are front wheel drive there's a lot of power going to driving the front wheels and mm -hmm. can cause a lot of uh wheel spin Mm -hmm. So you have to be easy on the throttle, otherwise you get a bucket load of, of wheel spin rather than forward traction. Yep. So that's which looks up, cool. Which looks looks cool. <laughs> sounds sounds alright. Um, but it's slow. But, but slow. <laughs> <laughs> slow isn't you fast. <laughs> but uh, if you hold onto the back of the car and floor it, will it do a burnout? Yeah, it will yeah, do yeah, a burnout. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a race car. We don't do that with race cars. <laughs> I'm going to do that with my race car. <laughs> No, but they're they're a fun fun car to drive. Um, I, I would go as far as saying that they're easier to drive than a four wheel drive car. Yes, they are. Um, yes. really. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Much the because you've got the drive of the front wheels. Um, the car, if it gets out of shape, you just hold the throttle and it'll actually pull itself 
it's, 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 it's yeah. like a like a real front wheel drive. Like yes. a run for drive. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But you know, like a, also like a front wheel drive car, you get the torque steer as well. Yep. You come into a yep. corner and yep. you give it too much juice, and um, you're going to find a lot of under. Yeah, Ford focuses itself around. The <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> if you had Ford Focus. <laughs> But no, very fun car to drive, highly recommend. If anyone wants to get into, into the TCR class um, or into racing, this, this is a, a, you know, a good, good car to, to start with. Uh, big shout out to the guys in the Southern Tasmania Model Car Club, uh, to yeah. Lee Harvey and Adrian Gray, um, and the rest of the committee. They did a great job in hosting the, the Tasmanian titles down there, had a fantastic uh, weekend. Um, not only the track is great, but it's also the setting is fantastic as well. Nestled, I've, I've seen nestled in a there. picture of the track at least. It looks yeah. like a lot of fun. Like, it looks like such a cool track. Yeah, it's a very beautiful track. I mean, you've got the backdrop of Mount Wellington as well. So, you know, action is great on the track, but if you if you get a little bit frustrated, you can look up and just feel the serenity and the peace <laughs> of the mountains around you. So and if great. I had tried to get down there, I would have been distracted by like the salmon and the beer. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, there's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just another awesome reason to go to Tasmania, I suppose. Yeah, it is. Uh, and the track was great. It's a, uh, it's a fast track, it's got a really long back straight, um, yep. but it's also got a really technical infield, yes. um, very un unforgiving, so very easy to overshoot corners. Um, yep. And when you do that, then you, you, you know, you're losing one, one or two tenths um, per corner you lose. Yeah, because I mean, as much as we love hooning down a straight <laughs> side by side, yep. races are usually more decided in the corners, yep. in, in, yes. at least in the RC world. Corner yes. king is, is king. Corner, corner king speed, is king. Corner speed is king. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm really doing a cool. great job. Yeah, no, you know. Um, I mean, I'm laughing. Um, <laughs> um, so are there... I, I can see the main difference is that Nick apparently doesn't run with a body on his car. <laughs> um, Extra aerodynamics. Oh, yeah, or less yeah, aerodynamics. Yeah. One of the two. Um, uh, do you guys set the two cars up differently? Are you running just like box stock well, what, setups? Because they're build kits, right? So yeah. it's... it's you, it's very rare to get a ready-to-run race car. They, they're nearly always a, a kit build. And are you assembling them as per the, the kit, or are there any changes that you make? Uh, pretty much, um, for me anyway, um, the uh, car was set up pretty much as stock. And when I got there, I just did the changes I need, felt I needed to make the car better to get around the track faster. Yeah, yeah. same. That's one of my go-to things is when I go to a major event, I always build, rebuild the car, um, but also just build to, to kit. And then when I get to the track, I've got two different bodies that, I'm, that I was trying, um, and then you can dial in steering or dial out steering or, or traction or retraction as, so as you need to. When you say dial in and dial out, um, for for those of us <laughs> that, that don't know, for anyone watching, don't know, how is that usually done? How if your car's not going around a corner as much as you want it to go around a corner? Yeah, yeah. What so, what changes would, would yeah. like? What's the f f first sort of thing you look at if a, if a car's not? rotating around a corner as much as you might like it to. Obviously, you want the car to have front bite and... Okay, rear, again, rear, bite. Front, sorry, front grip. <laughs> hey, you want, you want the front grip and you also want rear grip as well. So it depends on what tyre and body combination you're running. You can um, dial in, which is give more steering, yep. or dial out, which is reduce steering. And that's, that's predominantly through grip levels yes. at the front and rear of the chassis. Correct. Yeah. 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 So Ronnie was running the the Biddy Design CLA, and which is that, that one? which is this one here, and that's a bit more of a, a neutral running body. Yep. So, so similar grip levels front to back. Front rear, front yeah. neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I run the Blitz MK9, and it's got a bit more of a sharper sharper nose. Unfortunately, I don't have my car, my, my shell with me. Is that the one that definitely isn't a Volkswagen Golf, but it's totally a Volkswagen Golf? Um, I don't know if Volkswagen Golf are listening, but it <laughs> may or may or may not be. <laughs> the one that looks very much like a, yeah. a Golf, but yeah. So that has got me a bit more of a, an aggressive nose, which means it, um, it, it's very pointy on the nose and a bit more front bite. So uh, you, you adjust how much, for me, I had to reduce the steering. I had to dial out steering. Yeah. And I, yep. did that, I did that by having um, a harder front tyre. So I, I ran the Solaris. 28s on the rear, I think Ronnie running 28s yep. on, the rear, on well. the rear as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I ran 36 sure rating on the front, which is a harder harder compound. Yeah. As that number goes up, the tires get harder get or harder. they work in hotter temperatures yes, as well. Yes, yeah, exactly. Because yes. yeah. yeah. um, it's not quite 28 will work at 28 degrees, yeah. but it's it's close. Kind of that. Sort of. It's yeah. kind of that. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say, I love this. It just it reminds, it's like 
we've full nerded out <laughs> over RC Motorsport. I love this so much. I feel like we should be cutting to Ted Kravitz or something. It's amazing. Over to you, Ted. Yeah. So I guess that is, I mean, that is the cool thing. Like, I've dabbled in touring cars and, you know, I've had Ray to run things and they usually have different shock positions and, you know, a little bit of adjustability. Yep. Yep. But I guess that really is the cool thing when you go to a competition grade car yep. is that you can set them up. Yeah. Like there's so much adjustability mm -hmm. to get them handling just exactly yeah. how you like it. Does yeah. that also mean that there is that fraught with danger if you just adjust something a little bit the wrong way and then now it just doesn't drive anything like it used to? Is that, does that happen with them? Yeah, you can definitely get into, uh, we call it a setup jungle, where you're actually making changes, setup changes, and the car's not working, but then you can't remember where you came from. Right. And then you're um, in a bit of a pickle. That's when you go back to... We're back to kit again. Back, back to kit, kit settings. Start, yeah. yeah, that makes a lot yeah. of sense. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Um, so I can I'll, I can put links for all these things down in the in the description if anyone yeah. watching is keen to give it a go. It's a pretty rapidly growing RC class, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's becoming a lot more popular. Um, I think because actually the cars look kind of realistic. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. You know, you can relate this, you know, are we, allowed, are we allowed to say that this looks like a Mercedes AMG 45, A45? <laughs> well, the fact that they've called it a C CA45, I mean, they might be slightly aware of that. Just like the, the, the Civic of uh, the MK9, maybe. Yep. Um, but also, can I mention, uh, big kudos to, to X-Ray. Uh, you, you know, we know why they're the, one of the premier chassis. Yeah. Um, the build quality is fantastic. Which is why you can go back to the kit setup, because they know how to... X-Ray know yeah. how to make a car, they're yeah. several time world championships Champion, absolutely. Like over and over again. And look, they've spent a lot of time and effort in doing research and development to to give you, this is your basic setup of the and, car. And I mean, these, these guys, they're not cheap, but that is what you're paying for. You're paying yes. for that R&D. Right, right? Racing and design, yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the carbon fibers quality, the, the bits fit together really nicely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you, you are paying for what you get. They're, they're a great car. The great car. And they're, they're, they're responsive. All, all those like carbon fiber chassis things end up just looking amazing anyway, don't they? Yes. Who doesn't love carbon? Well, um, I, I, anyone watching this, I hope you've enjoyed our little interview format with a couple of uh, very successful racing drivers that also happen to work Hobbies Direct. Um, <laughs> and, part, and everything's <laughs> available, you can buy them at Hobbies Direct? <laughs> yeah, this is, look, yeah, it is. This is obviously just one long commercial, but you're like Transformers, so. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for coming on. And Thank we'll you. see you in the next video, whatever it happens to be. Thank All you. Right. Cheers. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>